Hope everyone is doing well. There's this chapter in my book called Cultivate Meaningful Relationships. And what I'm realizing, the older and older I get, the wiser I get, the more and more I realize that cultivating relationships is the key to happiness. Think about the last time you were suffering or struggling or going through some type of pain. What did you do? You either dealt with it on your own or you probably reached out to someone. And that person you reached out to, maybe, maybe they healed you, maybe they listened to you, maybe they made you laugh, or maybe they were on your side and they were like, man, F them too, I'll go, you know, maybe. Think about the last time you were super happy. You probably had that memory with someone. It's something you did with a team, with a friend, with a, with a lover, brother, sister, niece, nephew. And what I'm seeing about life is life is about relationships and it's about cultivating meaningful relationships and it's about adding value to the communities that you participate in and it's about adding value to your family members and to your friendships. Now, I believe this is easier to do once you establish yourself and you kind of know yourself and you know what value you can bring and you know what you have to offer but i don't think you should wait until i know who i am and now i'm ready to give like no like, you can still give as you figure yourself out as you learn yourself as you go through life so in my book for your energy um chapter seven cultivate meaningful relationships there's a few uh, slides I want to read to you. So the first one is on page 232. It says, this is the season of life when harvesting love and good energy needs to occur daily. You deserve to feel wanted, valued, and cherished. You are also powerful enough to give that to others. This entire season of your life is about cultivating meaningful relationships. If you guys are an introvert, and maybe you think like this, you know, man, you know, I don't want to do small talk. I don't want to spread myself too thin. I don't want to give everyone my time. I love, you know, my solitude. Trust me, I understand, right? I feel like I'm right in the middle. I'm, a, I'm an introvert and I'm an extrovert. I'm probably leaning more towards extroversion, but my job as a, as a writer, as a creator, is more of an introverted job. So I actually find myself doing more introverted things than I prefer. So here's the balance, here's the trick. If you're an introvert and you really, really genuinely love um, your alone time and, and being with yourself so you can think and feel, figure yourself out, do your creative arts, you should do an extroverted job or you should join extroverted communities like a, like a boot camp, uh, maybe like a book club, things of that nature. So you can that way spend your day and your time with people, spending, spending space amongst people and a lot of times those are meaningful connections. You know, the people you work with, the people you go to your boot camp with. And then when you get done with that, you'll be, be able to now go ahead and do your introverted time. Now on the other side of that, someone like me, I'm more extroverted, but I have an introvert job. So I have an introvert job where I'm writing, today I'm working on my book, I'm editing a book. But then when I get done and in between, I'm on the phone, I'm calling people, I'm setting appointments, I'm saying, hey, let's hang out, let's get together. I'm trying to get people on my podcast. Hey, you should come on the pod. I'm calling my friends from out of state, like, hey man, how's everything going? Touching base with my family members. What I think the key is, is to figure out that balance, right? Know yourself, are you introverted, extroverted? And then how are you spending your time? At the end of the day, life is about your relationships. It's about your relationship with yourself, your relationship with your spirituality, as well as your relationship with the people that you know. Thank you guys for tuning in to this video. I hope you continue to free your energy. I hope if you're feeling like you're an introvert, don't think that doesn't mean you can't talk to people or that you have to always be by yourself. Man, express yourself. Life is too short to be thinking in these boxes. Life is too short to be thinking in a limited way of, I'm an introvert or I'm an extrovert. I have to be this way, I have to be that way. None of that is real. Those labels are just labels. You are allowed to be as free as you wanna be. If you wanna cultivate meaningful and powerful relationships, think that, feel that, and then act on that. Don't worry about who's fake, who's real. You can't do any of that. Focus on what you can control, which is your effort, your attitude, and allow your energy to be free. Free your energy.